There we go. Uh, there we. Go. We're trying to hook up with uh, with Greg Warren, and I think he's still in his brother's basement. Is that correct, Greg? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Greg. <laughs> Hey guys, how you how you doing? No, Greg, I know you're a, you're a native of the St. Louis area, Greg. Yeah, and I we had a news story this morning about um, is it called three one four day? Are you uh, aware of this? Well, is that something different than Pi Day, or is it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Apparently, it's called three one four day. I guess that hasn't taken off. Yeah, no. The two St. Louisans, you and I, we hadn't heard of this. Uh, <laughs> it's, Not, it's, we're aware of the area. That's code, your of area code, so they celebrate three one four day. According to Tom, day. there's something called three one. Not according day. to me. It's according to the news story. I don't. I. I. You're I didn't make something. it up. I, Man, I, I. I haven't heard of this thing. Uh, I mean, I. I know that's our area code. Uh, right. Hmm. Well, they did a silly thing at the City Museum, Greg. They broke a world record. Yeah, it was cute. On uh, so-called 314 Day. Yeah. What was the uh, record? Uh, um, um, underwear worn on the head. Okay. They had, they had 355 people put underwear on their heads and danced to the Village People song, the YMCA song. Great song. <laughs> Great song. Cool dance. Great song. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, I, that's going to come back pretty soon. That song's that's that's. I think it's a staple. I think, uh, yeah, well, certainly at weddings. I'd be yeah. okay if I yeah. never heard it again. Yeah. Really? Yeah, not me. I think it's a, it's one of the uh, sure. touchstones of the disco era. I think it's a classic. Uh, you talk uh, village people. Talk to me about in the navy, or you don't. You, I know you don't know what you're talking. Oh, is that ch what? What about Macho Man? That's a good uh, one. chick. Uh, macho Man. Uh, I could have written Macho Man. I don't care for that either. You don't like you, Macho? Yeah, man? yeah. Let's let's yeah. see you write Macho Man. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. How dare you <laughs> uh, did you ever see that movie that they made can't stop the music yeah with the song are you ready for the 80s apparently the village people were not <laughs> <laughs> funny enough <laughs> you know, that's got to be somebody's favorite record though what can't are you ready for the 80s yeah, the soundtrack to the oh, probably movie, can't stop the music uh i'm sorry uh greg we were talking about something before we had a, got a hold of you uh first i want to plug your gig coming up friday april 5th and saturday the 6th the funny bone toledo ohio will be rocking and uh yeah pretty excited about that one that's yeah. a good market mm -hmm. and uh, josh has since been there and and, and made up for uh, there was an incident but, uh, yeah, I don't know if you can ever quite make up for that, but it, <laughs> but it was... Uh, I was just going to add, uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'd like to he's, think I've uh, he's somewhat forgiven. Uh, he certainly has I'm at been least, to Toledo. I'm at least allowed back in that county. Uh, so there you go. Yeah, yeah, you can go back, and yeah. it's uh, it was a good show you performed, but there's still people that bought tickets that is night. That, Hawking but, uh, County? Well, <laughs> but you're going you're gonna to kill it when you're there, right, Greg? Oh, yeah, I promise. Yeah, no Josh Arnold coming here. <laughs> <laughs> I got a nice letter here from uh, Mr. Uh, Randy Wilson, who said he went to see Greg Saturday night. Funny man, kept us laughing for over an hour. We had a great time and laughed the whole time. Randy. Thanks, for, thanks for the laughs. Wilson. Thank you, Randy. <laughs> uh, so you That's good, outstanding. You had a good show. Yeah. Well done, Greg. Now, we were talking about Randy, this. Randy uh, Wilson, was uh, uh, Josh, was he from the What's Going Down episode of That's My Mama? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Randy Watson reference. Ah, uh, Mr. Uh, Randy Watson. Coming to America. <laughs> the wrestler? Yeah. So pretty. No, 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 it's, no it's so uh, pretty. The, the movie Coming to America. It's the very silly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, now, we have a news story here, Greg, about what Are foods... You, uh, we told you not to ask him about this because oh, he's going to be uncomfortable and not talk about it. Oh, boy. So. Go uh, ahead. You've done it now. It's about sex, Greg, but not. don't worry. It's not too graphic or anything. It's about what oh, what yeah. foods not to eat prior to uh, intimate uh, activity activities. I I would I said beans. That's not even on the list. Nope. Yeah. Um, do you, Do you have any uh, peculiar uh, uh, habits Three when it comes to food? Sexual habits. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I I guess I'd prefer not to really have a full stomach when I'm d doing something like that. Right. Uh, that's right. a good yeah. choice. Yeah. 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 You old romantic you. <laughs> when I'm when I'm doing something like that. <laughs> that are that are plowing a field. Either one. <laughs> yeah, but uh, now uh, Greg, you you choose a topic every week that you do a so-called deep dive in and uh, what is yeah, a, yeah. what is, what is the uh, topic today, please? Uh well, I I uh want to talk about uh Lucky Charms. Oh, guys. oh very nice and, and very Sun timely. We had St. Yeah. Patrick's Day yesterday. St. Patrick's Day. Uh, they were introduced uh, 1964 on St. Patrick's Day. Oh. Is that right? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, General Mills sort of put a an edict out to their 
executives and say, we need to use some of our existing Cheerios and Wheaties technologies to uh, come up with new initiatives. Mm. And uh, old John Holohan uh, was a big fan of the candy circus penis. You guys know those things? Sure. Mm -hmm. my, yeah. my dad loved those. He would claim the staler, the better. <laughs> uh, yeah, th yeah. I, I don't, that's, my coach liked those. Yeah, yeah, my college wrestling coach. I don't know too many people. They remind me of those, they're, they're similar to that. You remember Ron ate those Boston baked beans yes. all sure. the time? All yeah. the time. Yeah. Just in plain yeah. cellophane bags. Uh, yeah. 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 It's, it's like, the same kind of candy. Anyways, John uh, got the idea to cut up a circus peanuts and put them in Cheerios, <laughs> and that's basically what Lucky Charms are. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's cut up circus peanuts in Cheerios. Uh, they, uh, of course, uh, shaped the circus peanuts, the original marsh. They're called Marbits. Mm. Marbits? Uh, the, the original Marbits were pink hearts, <laughs> yellow moons, orange stars, and green clovers. The only one left of that lineup are the pink hearts. What? What? They don't have yeah. green clovers anymore? No, Christy, what they have is uh, basically uh, a green hat that goes on top of a leprechaun <laughs> with a clover in it. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, yeah. Is that yeah. in By the cereal? Way, it's in the cereal. Yeah, it's one of the marshmallows, yeah. Um, one of the marbits. You know, you, you, know, uh, you, you, know, you have a one in 10,000 chance of finding a four-leaf clover. Oh, in real life? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I've never found. And when that. I was a kid, uh, we had a one in twenty thousand chance of my mother buying Lucky Charms. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I agree. <laughs> I've yeah. never. I've never had them. What? Oh, they're pretty good. I, I, I'm, I'm eating a few right now. They're, really? They're, they're good. They eat all yeah, the marshmallows they're... out first, and then you have the rest Let's of the cereal. Yeah. Your mom would yell at you, you're going to finish that. Marsh yeah. Marshmallows yeah. are strictly for s'mores, and that's it. I'm out. Oh, uh, whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, they ran a promotion in 2015 where they uh, they had 10 boxes of marshmallows only out there. Oh, I remember Willy, this. I remember yeah, this. Yeah, Willy Wonka type thing. Um, and then, and for some reason, uh, they hooked up with Biz Marquee. The, 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 the theme was just a friend. Um, I don't, that seems like an odd thing. Who's uh, Biz Marquee? He, he sang you, that song. You got Don't what I need. need. You say, you say just, she's just a friend. You say he's just... It's, it's, it's an oh, interesting baby. way to... Yeah, the charm was... What was the connection? Of a singer. I don't know. Yeah, well, it's, yeah. the, it's an obvious connection. I mean, when you're promoting children's cereals, you want to uh, play a song that talks about the uh, infidelity of your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Um... So yeah, they they uh, they they figured out at one, oh oh I I I want to go back. They uh they did so well with that ten boxes of marshmallows only. A couple years later, they they did ten thousand boxes. Wow. of marshmallows only. Yeah, um, my brother's got a a bag of marshmallows only up up in his cupboard. Actually, is that <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Any kind of any kind of junk food, it's over here. Now and there have they, been they, mistakes yeah. made on the line in uh, cereal. We we all go, of course remember. Oops, just berries. Oops. Or oops, all oh. berries. Yeah. Oh, yeah, all berries. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I like that yeah. they admit the mistake right there on the box. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, guys, we messed up, and we got to try to sell this. <laughs> uh, they, uh, as some say, they turned uh, lemons into lemonade. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So, yeah. uh, I was trying to do a little homework here while we're, you're talking, Greg. Um, this is disturbing. Uh, Pornhub, the uh, uh, pornographic home of... Uh, we know what Pornhub is. Tube, okay. You'd call it a tube <laughs> sure. site. Yeah. What is it called? A tube, tube site. site. Yeah. Um, they do uh, uh, research on various days of uh, the year. It'll be like post-Super yeah. Bowl, etc. St. Patrick's Day search data uh, from last year. Leprechaun porn, um, a 8,000% uh, increase. What does this oh, have wow. to do with Lucky Charms? Leprechauns. Leprechauns. Oh. You got lucky leprechauns. the leprechauns okay. from uh, Lucky Now, Charms. I t tried to check it out, and I unfortunately typed in leper porn. And oh. oh uh, very different. Yeah. Yeah. Different. That not, yeah. Not erotic to me at all. Oh. No, no. <laughs> uh, have you, have you, have you done leper, leper leprechaun <laughs> porn? Because oh, jeez. Oh. Wow. Yeah. That's a little half a thumb. There's little <laughs> green parts <laughs> very, all over. Uh, <laughs> very little. Uh, oh, God. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Josh, you mentioned Lucky the Leprechaun. 
that's his name. Uh, he uh, was originally called L.C. Leprechaun. Sir Charms for a while, too. Oh, I like Ooh. Sir Charms. Sir Charms is good. Um, you guys know his uh, catchphrase, right? Mm-mm. Magically delicious. Yes. There you go, Christy. Yeah. They're magically delicious. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and, and didn't he used to list the, uh, yeah, yeah, oh, the clovers, oh, pink hearts, yellow. Oh yeah, he lists them all. Yeah, 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 yeah. They all have different powers. Uh, the actor, uh, the voice actor, was a guy named Arthur Anderson. He was uh, not Irish, uh, <laughs> uh, and had some other uh, appearances. He played a, a judge uh, on Law and Order. Is which, that right? Oh. You did not want to bring a larceny case in front of that judge. Uh, yeah. <laughs> guilty, guilty, you're all thieves. You're all trying to get me lucky charms. <laughs> uh, judge, your honor, your honor, please. This is a- <laughs> you're guilty, you're guilty. I can see it in your face. You're trying to get me lucky charms. <laughs> You'll be magically executed. <laughs> <laughs> magically judged. Uh, all right. They found out for a while uh, they they in the mid seventies they thought Lucky was not nice enough for children. Hmm. Uh, so they they tested a replacement, uh, Waldo the Wizard. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> really? Yes. He was a scatterbrained magician. Uh, his catchphrase was "Ibble de Bibble delicious." Waldo later went on to co- become Snoop Dogg. Uh, <laughs> Do you remember Waldo? But I do not remember Waldo. Well, you wouldn't unless you were in New England. They tested him in New England. Oh, oh okay. Oh, there you go. Which my question is, why would you test a nicer mascot in New England? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, Waldo, you're a phony. You, you come any closer with that magic wand, I'm going to smash you in your kneecaps with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine the folks in Boston, Boston were happy with that replacement. No, no, no. Waldo didn't last. What they did is they did make uh, Lucky uh, a little nicer. Ah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, he was, I think, when it was kind of scary as a kid. You think mm. so? Yeah, yeah he had. He looked like that. I'm sure you're familiar with that horror movie. He looked like that guy. Josh, oh, okay, the, yeah, Leprechaun. What, Leprechaun, played by yeah, Warwick yeah. Davis. Sure. <laughs> I had a feeling. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, Greg Warren, did you did you know that a guy uh, a few years ago they made a, a a beer out of Lucky Charms? I did not know that. Smart no, Mouth Brewing of Norfolk. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, they uh, made a beer designed to taste like Lucky Charms. Hmm. Uh, it seems s- stupid. Uh, yeah, they, they had a special event to celebrate. 6.6% ABV beer. Oh, wow. Yeah, Greg, 6. Is, it, is-, is it frustrating at all that when you call in with these reports, you've done a lot of research, you call in, uh-huh. it's clear that while you're uh, presenting Talking. to yes. us, Tom's doing yeah. his own damn research, doing not listening, not, trying to not find his own. Attention and not necessarily on the topic that you've brought right. up. I think this is interesting. You know, guys, I I, I hadn't even noticed it. Uh, <laughs> no. I, 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 it's Tom's show. I mean, uh-huh. you know. Well, this yeah. is interesting. I mean, there's a beer that tastes like Lucky Charms, and at the end of the it's rain, not interesting at all. At no. the, I don't. I don't. At the, no. at the I end, think there's nothing interesting about it. At the end of the rainbow, there's an AA meeting, Pat. <laughs> Pat. <laughs> now I get Pat. brought into. Well, it. there goes the anonymous. <laughs> It, it almost seems as if you brought up that story to get to that punchline. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wish I had. I just thought of it. Sorry. That's kind of uh, how this works. Uh, <clears throat> so um, they uh, they found out that if you you got to change up the marshmallows, you can't just go with the same marshmallows. So they've they've been moving them in and out for a while, uh, and they they've done some themed uh, marshmallows. They had a winter uh, theme, an Olympic theme, and then a landmarks from around the world marshmallows. <laughs> oh, really? Huh. Yeah, they had the Liberty Bell, the Golden Gate Bridge, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, no St. Louis Arch. Oh. Wow. Well. Which is a slap in the face. No Sydney Opera House. Uh, and if we're talking about landmarks, what about the landmark piece of antitrust legislation, the <laughs> Seller Kefauver Act. It was a pass to close a loophole regarding asset acquisitions and acquisitions involving firms that were not direct com- competitors. I mean, you're telling me that wouldn't make an interesting marshmallow for a kid. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's that. Is it, did you say <laughs> Estes Kefauver? Is that what you're talking uh, about? Uh, seller Kefauver, I believe. is. is okay. Uh, All right. Yeah. C-E-L-L-E-R Kefauver. Mm. Yeah, I'm hoping. Wow. So it's known as it's known as the Anti Merger Act. Oh so. well, that's why we. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Close some loopholes. The AMA. I think. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, they've had some pretty cool uh, promotions there. They did Loki charms in 2021. What? Loki? Oh, yeah, I for love the Loki. The, yeah, the the it, they had some uh, boxes uh, for the that? Marvel movie, and uh, well, of course, it sold out in seconds. Christy. Oh, that's you, why I missed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it was gone instantly. Mm. Um, this in the early '80s, kids could send away for a lucky farming kit and grow their own crops. <laughs> lucky farms? Yeah, lucky farms. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, how'd you get into farming? I assume it was uh, a family business. No, no, uh, Lucky Charms. I, you can uh, grow marshmallows. That... I had no idea. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how do you? Th where do you think they come from? Marshmallow bush. Yeah. They have a little. Yeah. They have a little <laughs> green clover. Here comes old plant. marshmallow bush. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's yeah, sweet. sweet as anything. No, I'm kidding. It tastes like marshmallow. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> What's that oozing? Unbelievable. <laughs> oh. Magically delicious. Uh, I saw this one story. It said to 15 Lucky Charms nutrition facts. Oh. <laughs> 15. 15. 15. I think you need high. one. Yeah, yeah, there's one. Yeah. They're not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of sugar. Oh, so much. They didn't They didn't used to be frosted. The, the cereal bits did not used to be frosted. Right. They're frosted they... now? Oh, yeah, they're frosted. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's wow. kind of... That's part of the the whole frosted Lucky Charms. They're magically delicious. That's how they get you yeah. to eat them now. Mm. Yeah, I mean because uh, yeah, back uh, in uh, our day, <laughs> marshmallows weren't enough sugar. <laughs> uh, have, have you eaten any recently? About thirty seconds ago, <laughs> right. he really has been having a handful. My son oh, yesterday. Yeah. Your son no ate yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. Hmm. Oh, he really? He loves them. Yeah, we have them all the time. They're good, man. They are good. I mean, they, they got to be terrible for you, but they're 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 real good. General Mills knows what they're doing. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Speaking of General Mills, guys, do you know some of the things that they've uh, been responsible for? No. What? In, in addition to now, I didn't like these guys. I went up against them in the cake mix business. They sure. had Betty Crocker. I had Duncan Hines, and right. I didn't care for the way they operated. But <laughs> I will give it up for them. I don't know who's laughing, Pat. They. They hoard up the market. They, they came in at like 69 cents cake mix uh, uh, on, uh, over oh, Christmas. Right. It was ridiculous. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's different. Right. Um, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Ch Chick, what you do there is you load up you load up the okay. grocery stores for two years and you're not getting a fresh product. Uh, uh, right. Anyways. Uh -huh. okay. That's right. A lot of yeah. um, <laughs> No, but they invented the black box. General what? Mills. Wow. Yes. You mean yes. for aircraft, you mean? For aircraft, yes. Why? Yes. Well, I mean, it's uh, to find out what happened. No, but I mean, why you know, was someone in, a, in the cereal business inventing aircraft you know, these, safety the, the, devices? They're in more than cereal. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, they, they got mills? all kinds of. Yeah, they got all kinds of things going on. I mean, that's on. why they they're invented. general, not specific mills. <laughs> I see. Oh, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're not talking about. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These mills are very general. Uh, mills. We'll make whatever yeah. you want in our mill. Cereal, black boxes. Um, sadly, we have dogs. Nerf. They came up with Nerf. Hmm. The Nerf they balls. Yes, they made Nerf. Wow. Huh. Yeah. Huh. I, uh, which, uh, whenever I think of Nerf, I think of David McVitie. He uh, was moved into our uh, community when uh, we were seniors in high school, and he tried out for the football team, and uh, he wasn't very good. And Coach Washington said, McVitie, what kind of football experience do you have? He goes, Nerf. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it makes sense. Uh, those marshmallows and Nerf, pretty similar. Yeah. You're right. Oh. You're right, Josh. Okay. I didn't think of that. Uh, well, we got to sign off. Uh, Greg Warren, by the way, once again, uh, Friday, April 5th and Saturday the 6th. Funny Bone, Toledo, Ohio. Go see him live and in person and check out his great specials on the TV. Thank you, Greg. Love you, Bye, Greg. Greg. Thanks, guys. Nice to see you. Enjoy you your too. cereal. I always love you.